how's y'all what? Israelites. Right. You're pretty much from the northern kingdom of Israel. That's right. How do, why is there a division between the so-called blacks and the Hispanics? Why is there a division? Why is there a division with, on how we look? Why do we treat each other differently? The reason why that happens is because what? We sin. We made an agreement with God. Our forefathers made an agreement with God. And what? We broke that agreement. Right. And God says in his curses, his punishments, he was going to split us up and he was going to bring our enemies against us and cause even more destruction on us. So in order for us to change that, to come up out of that, we have to start keeping these laws. So let me show you where you're at in this Bible that is a history book. Right. You, uh, you go to Catholic, Catholic, Catholic Church? You, have, you ever, have you ever heard that you was an Israelite in the Catholic Church? Never heard that? Let me show you something real quick. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Listen up. What is your... Hold on, hold on. What's your name? Oh, I'm gonna say it. Nice being y'all, okay? Hold on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, look, this agreement that you made with me, if you don't listen to it, it's no different from when you was in a household. But God, when, when you get set house rules for your children, and you tell your children, look, you're gonna, when you finish with your homework, I want you to go clean your bedroom. I want you to go clean the bathroom. God is setting house rules. And he said, if you don't do this, bad things are going to happen to you. I'm going to punish you. Right. This is what God is saying in this verse. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. You don't make sure that you keep my household rules. Read. And the statutes, uh, which I command thee this day. So God is commanding us to do this. He's commanding us to come together as one nation again. We're not separate. We're not Mexicans and blacks. No, we are Israelites. Right. You understand that? We. That all these curses uh, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, give me verse 28 real quick. So he said, all these bad things, these punishments are going to come against us. Right. Read that real quick. Now, I'm going to get into some of these punishments, some of these curses, some of these bad things. Read on. Verse 28. Uh, the Lord just smite thee with madness. So the Lord said he's going to smite us with madness. It's madness to think that the blacks Although, look, the blacks and Hispanics, although we are conquered by the same person, the same white man, we still think that we have equality with this man. That's madness to think that. It's madness to think that we can vote ourselves out of a situation. You understand that? It's madness to think that, what, because I got a little bit of money, I'm better than you. That's madness. We go through the exact same trauma, the exact same turmoil. God is saying, I'm going to smite you to think this way. We don't. And blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. So even though that, look, you're going to have what? The young lords, the Black Panthers, to set an example to come together, right? Although he's going to do that, we're still going to be blind to the fact that, you know what? We're, we're different. I'm better than you. Now, you know what? I hate Mexicans. No, I hate blacks. But God said that's a, that's a madness thought. That's crazy to think like that. Right. We're supposed to be one as a nation. Right. We're right. supposed to come together on the banner of these laws. Bring it out. We. And, the, and thou shalt grope at noonday, uh -huh. as the blind grope in darkness. 29. Verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind grope in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. So, what that's going into is like, we searching for our way on how we can move in this earth, right? We searching on how we should do it. Well, we get into religions, we get into politics, we get into all these different things. But God says, look, we're going to be searching for these things, but we're not going to be able to find it. Give me seven, nine, two, and one. The only way that we're only going to be able to find it is by repentance, by keeping God's laws. Right. Coming back to who we are, to who we truly are. Because you are God, sir. You are God on this earth. And right. she is a daughter of yes. Sarah. Right. Isaac, you hear that, brother? You are God on this earth. Right. And you have to start walking like it. And this is a start right here. Read. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Right. Gather yourselves together. So God says, gather yourselves together, you so-called Hispanic man and black man. Gather yourselves together. Right. Stop hating one another. Stop thinking you're better than one another right. because you're not. We are in this oppression together. Bring it out. We. Yay. Gather together. Whole nation not desired. You understand what God just said? He said, yay. Gather yourselves together. So that's almost like he's 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 put emphasis on it. He said, gather yourself together. Yay! Meaning, get your mind right and start what? Keeping these laws. Gather 
gather yourselves together, O nation, as what? Your desire. How are we not desire? How are we not desire? What, what, have you, what is ice? What is ice doing today? What is ice? Ice? Yeah. The organization ICE. The immigration control. What, what, what is it called? Immigration control. Yeah. ICE. Yeah. Immigration enforcement. Right. What, what are they doing to the so-called Mexicans? Gathering them all together. Putting them in cages. Putting them in cages, right? So, you going in cages. We in jails, right? So, what is that saying? That is a prophecy. Give me a that is a prophecy. Yeah. That is a prophecy to show you that what? We have to come together. Right. The Bible is showing us, look, these bad things are going to continually happen unless you what? Come together and keep these laws. Right. So I'm going to prove to you even more that this Bible is for us. Yeah. I'm going to prove to you even more that we have to come together. That's we right. have to. There's no if, ands, buts about it. Read that. Isaiah 42, 22. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Uh -huh. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So... You got the so-called black man being what? Putting ice, being ice concentration camps. You got the so-called Mexicans or Hispanics being put in ice concentration camps. You got the so-called black man put in what? Prisons. Because they put drugs in our neighborhood. They make situations where what? We don't have a good educational system. So what? Right. We resort to crime. Right. Right? So we are in prison houses. This is a people that is robbed and spoiled, destroyed of who they are. That's what robbed and spoiled is going into. Your land got robbed. You know what? Now they they indoctrinate you with different religions, different uh, pol political systems right. to get you to think that we're not the same people, but we are. Right. This is another prophecy to prove that we are the children of Israel. Read right. that from the top. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. So we are all snared in holes. Snares is going into traps. We are trapped in a hole. We are trapped in a system and don't know how to get out of it. We, I understand. You got a flyer, brother? Did you get a flyer? You get a flyer? Make sure you contact us and call us. Look, you got sons, you got nephews. Let them know about this. This is the greatest information you can ever get. You have to share it. Go on our website. But listen to this, listen to this prophecy as you walk away. Real. And they are hid in prison houses. You see that? Prison houses. Those ice concentration camps are prison houses. You understand that? We don't. They are for a pay and none deliver it. For a spoil and none restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken? Let me ask you, Listen to this. Listen to this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Now look, I'm going to read this verse, and then I'm going to let the next teacher come up and edify, okay? Read. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.